Interviews in Finland Part 2. This time I've asked uh, Finnish people uh, where they get their news and what news sources they trust the most. Uh, unsurprisingly, most of the people reply that they watch uh, Finnish media and occasionally CNN or BBC. Uh, so I haven't included uh, these uh, replies as they would make the video more boring than what it is. Uh, instead, I'm only showing you those replies that I found more interesting and original. Let's have a look. Very big newspapers like uh, we have Helsinki Sanomat. For example, I think it's uh, trustworthy. And Do you read the yeah. international? Um, so yeah, like BBC, uh, Russia Today or Reuters? Or uh, I, sites? You have to think when you... Uh, when you read something, you have to think uh, where where the news news is coming from. So uh, I think um, some some uh, like American newspapers are kind of like I can trust them. But if I read something uh, from Russia, then I think uh, it might be like uh, not true or not exactly true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe there's uh, lots of. I I think there's some. Some of the news are propaganda in Russia, in today, too. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I... Yeah, it's quite a good question. I think BBC would be the one. It seems that they have more objective um, look around the world. But again, they're pro-Western. Um, media site and um, cooperation if you think of um, just double standards world you know uh, once they talk about Russia it means that they're terrorists and they show them not in the best way mm -hmm. so they always something happens about um, bad stuff so it's Russia if it's okay then it's US or the UK or other European Union countries. Do you also read Russian news or RT for instance or other like how do you know how can you tell that BBC has some bias? Well I'm Russian. I'm from Russia. And I well I lived about eight years in India so I do watch um, RT so but those guys are pro government, uh, pro Putin um, propaganda um, news channel so it's quite hard to say and quite difficult to draw the line mm -hmm. you know so all the countries are like that so but also I trust of the some Finnish um, channels as well yeah yeah the, uh, well many media outlets like um, well I mainstream ones I prefer Fox News uh, what else? Russia Today. Mm -hmm. uh, then some, then some like Sky News, BBC, but also some alternative ones like Infowars.com and uh, maybe Breitbart. May I ask you where you are originally from? Croatia. Croatia. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And how come that uh, you watch uh, Russia Today? Um, like many people think that it's uh, mm -hmm. Kremlin propaganda. What? What's your reply to that? <laughs> well, every media is propaganda. It doesn't matter where it comes from. Uh, so in order to have like a complete uh, picture of the events of the world, it's necessary to see uh, everybody's point of view. So if I want to know something that involves Russia, for example, then it's a good idea to see what the Russians say, what the Americans say, what Europe says, and then like from all the information, I can come up with my own conclusion. What about international ones? Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, BBC. BBC. Yeah. Uh, have you heard or ever watched uh, RT, Russia Today? Uh, I have watched it a couple of times. Uh, but they have, they have more like uh, news that are from their perspective. So it's more Russia positive than BBC. So for me, like uh, BBC, because I have the app and it's quick, it's on, on the go and then it just gives me notifications and I can know what's going on around the world. Just to be sure, you, you live in Finland? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Have you heard or watched uh, RT, Russia Today? Yes. Uh, what do you think of it? 
I actually enjoyed it. Uh, I don't know if that was because it was kind of like a specialty in the house, the, the apartment building I was living in to actually receive this channel, but I found it quite interesting. Do you still watch it? Or not? It's not available at the moment for me where I'm living. Okay. Yeah.